today we will have a look at the instrument by Phil Spicer. The instrument is a rumpler that comes with more than 100 different sounds, hundreds of chords, rhythms and melody presets and also have the option of MIDI export. So let's get into it. The instrument has a very good looking interface. It's very easy to navigate and the different sections are quite self-explanatory. We will now have a look at the different parts of the interface. We'll start by looking at the instrument selector on the right side. We have 808, bass, keys, we have some pads, a good selection of leads, some synths, and we also have some plugs. The different sounds are also categorized by the genre. So if you're looking for something in a specific genre, you can find it under the different menus. When you find a sound that you like, you can also go into the specifics of that sound to manipulate the different aspects of the sound. You can also change the reverb, the intensity, and the size of the reverb effects. You can also do settings on the delay effects, the intensity of the delays, the timing, and also the feedback. On the top left side we have even more settings that we can change. We have the attack. We can change the decay. The sustain. And also you can change the release. So from samples we have included, you can make quite a lot of changes. And we also have a shaper, so you can make your side chaining a little bit easier directly in the app. You can also customize how the side chain should sound. You can also decide how many bars that the effect should be on. Default is one fourth. 
Under the shaper we have what makes this VST a little bit unique. You can set the key and then you can also choose in what scale you would like to have your chords. And you have a huge selection of different scales that can be used. And when you play, you only use one key on the keyboard. So it is a good way to get some inspiration while making your music. In addition to choosing your scales or your chords, you can also set your melody to the same scale. So regardless of what you play on your keyboard, it will actually select the closest note that's in the given scale. You also have a strum function. So when you have a chord going, uh, you can use a clavier chord and then you can have the strum active and it will strum the notes. You can also change the speed of the strum and we also have an ARP effect on the same settings. You can also change if you want the ARP to go up, down, up and down and down and up. So it's a very versatile tool. The next effect we will have a look at is the rhythm. So for this one you will have to choose the melody. And then you choose what kind of rhythm you would like to see. This can be quite useful for bass, for example. And you have a very good selection also of different rhythms that you can use. The last function we will have a look at is the record. So basically whatever you're playing while pushing the record, it will then make into a MIDI file that you can import into your DAW 
uh, sometimes you might just want to record directly in the DAW, but sometimes you would like to also have a MIDI that you can use in other projects or you would like to save it for some reason. So that was a quick look at the instrument. I think it's a good VST. I haven't used it for any projects yet, but I think it might be quite useful when I'm having some problems coming up with music. So if you want to check it out, uh, I will leave a link in the description. If you would like to see more videos about the instrument or other VSTs or whatever, then just let me know. Subscribe, like, and have a lovely day. Ciao.